Welcome to your tour of Parliament Hill. We are host, Eric Henry. Come along as we explore the tour of Parliament Hill. Today, we are going to be going on a counterclockwise tour of the back property of Parliament. Starting with the east block and going around the back of the center block towards the west block. As we walk, we will be interviewing the people who are part of the statues. And so we can like it dive in to some main history. <laughs> so here we go. Come along. Stop number one, Sir Wilfrid Laurier. Just to give you some context, we are behind the East Block. East Block is right there as you can see. And in front of the War Memorial. Let's start the tour with Sir Wilfrid Laurier. A word from you, sir? I was the first Francophone Prime Minister of Canada from 1896 to 1911. Our second stop on the tour is the War of 1812 Monument. This monument commemorates the 200th anniversary of the conflict. The seven figures represent the important soldiers that came together in order to defeat the American invasion. There is a Métis fighter firing a cannon, a woman bandaging an arm, a Royal Navy sailor pulling a rope, a First Nations warrior pointing into the distance, a Canadian militiaman raising his arm in triumph and a member of the British Army's Royal Newfoundland Regiment firing a musket. Now I am going to leave stop two and go on to stop three, which is the famous five. So here we are, approaching the famous five we made. Who? Okay. 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 So here we are, approaching the famous five women. Women. <laughs> okay. So here we are, approaching the famous five women. Stop 3 shows Canada's famous five. Back in the 1920s, these five women made it official that women are indeed people. This victory means that women can be appointed to the Canadian Senate. Later, women were also allowed to vote. Here they are, celebrating their victory. And now, I'll go celebrate with them. Is there anything that you would like to say? My name is Louise McKinney. 
How interesting. And you, ma'am? In 1875, I started the Working Girls Association in Montreal. How about you? I was elected president of the Women's Branch of the United Farmers of Alberta. So is it true that women are indeed persons? Why, yes! Henrietta, Louise, Irene, and Emily, and I made it official. And one last word. I was the first president of the Federated Women's Institutes of Canada. Here we are at stop number four. Let me introduce you to William Lyon Mackenzie King. He was the Prime Minister of Canada during the 1920s, the 1930s, and the 1940s. Wow, sir, you're really tall. Why, thank you. Thank you very much. Is there anything that you would like to tell us, sir? I am a Canadian Prime Minister that has played a major role in the shaping of this Canadian nation. This is Stop 5, Queen Elizabeth II. Stop 5 shows Queen Elizabeth on her horse, the Centennial. This RCMP horse was officially presented to Her Majesty in 1977. Queen Elizabeth II has officially been Canada's monarch since 1952. Is there anything that you would like to say, Your Majesty? Why, my mother was known as Queen Elizabeth the Queen Mother! And how about you, Centennial? Yay! I am the Centennial, Her Majesty's horse! Here we are at stop number six, Sir John A. Macdonald. Let me introduce you to one of our fathers of Confederation, Sir John A. Macdonald. Meet the first Prime Minister of Canada with his wife. Here we are at stop number seven. Stop number seven features newspaper editor George Brown. George Brown founded a newspaper in Toronto called The Globe. I was accidentally shot by a former employee 13 years after I retired. Now, how about that? Stop number eight. Sir Robert Baldwin and Sir Louis Hippolyte Lafontaine. This is the first statue on Parliament Hill to honor two statesmen at once. Is there anything that you'd like to say, gentlemen? We both played a pivotal role in the peaceful movement toward responsible government in pre-Confederation Canada. And here is a bonus attraction called the Whispering Wall. If you sit on one end of the bench and whisper into the wall, then your friend sitting on the other side of the bench can hear you. This is stop number nine, Alexander Mackenzie. So who was he? He was the second Prime Minister of Canada. So I heard that you served for five years as Prime Minister. Why, yes. While well, I was the Prime Minister, both the Supreme Court of Canada and the Auditor General's office were developed. 
Wow. Quite fascinating, sir. And thank you for your time. Okay, so, just to review, the Whispering Wall behind me is stop 8, Alexander McKenzie, maybe beside me, stop 9, and we are going on to stop 10. Eric Headley, on location, the back of Parliament. Here we are at stop number 10, Sir George Etienne Cartier. Can you believe it? I was banished early in my political career because I participated in the rebellion in Lower Canada in 1837. But I didn't give up. I served as Joint Prime Minister from 1857 to 1862. Let's say goodbye to Mr. Cartier. Goodbye, Mr. Cartier. And now, on to stop the luck. Here we are at stop number 11. Thomas Darcy McGee. Hello there, Thomas Darcy McGee. Thomas Darcy McGee was Irish born and another father of Confederation. I was best remembered for speaking out against the Fenians, a group of Irish Americans who wanted to invade Canada in the 1860s. Interesting. Thank you for your time, sir. Stock number 12. The Victoria Tower Bell. Welcome to stock number 12. The Victoria Tower Bell was installed into the tower in 1877. The bell fell on the tower of the Central Block Fire in 1916. It is one of the few original remainders of Canada's first parliament. Here we are at stop number 13, Sir Robert Laird Borden. Stop number 13 shows us Sir Robert Borden. I was the Prime Minister during the First World War. How would you like to be remembered, sir? I'm proud to say that my government gave women the right to vote in federal elections. Stop number 14 is John George Diefenbaker. John George Diefenbaker was Canada's 13th Prime Minister from 1957 to 1963. How would you like to be remembered, sir? I introduced the Canadian Bill of Rights and extended the vote to include Native people. I'm proud to say that I was the first to appoint a woman to the Federal Cabinet. Stop number 15 is the Police Memorial.
Welcome to stop number 15, the police memorial. Prime Minister Chrétien helped to install this in 1994. Looking over my left shoulder, you can see the statues that we have just visited. This is also part of the memorial, and there are names of officers who were killed in the line of duty. Our next part of the tour is in the construction zone. So that means that we all have to walk all the way around to the other side just to get a closer look at it. These stops are number 16 and 17 and they would be Queen Victoria and Lester B. Pearson. Let me show you from a distance now. As you can see, Queen Victoria and Lester B. Pearson are deep in the construction zone. Wow. Once again, we are going to walk all the way around Parliament to reach them. Let's go. And now we are going to turn the corner to the front of Parliament. Here we are, close to stop number 16, Queen Victoria. As you can see, she's in the distance and she's right in the middle of the construction zone. Over there, right in the middle of the construction zone. If you could see it, this is what you would see. In 1857, Ottawa was chosen as Canada's capital by Queen Victoria. It was a real honor and great pleasure to get to meet you today, Your Majesty. Stop 17 is Lester B. Pearson. Lester B. Pearson? is also in the construction zone and this is what you would see if there wasn't the construction. He was Canada's 14th Prime Minister and he received a Nobel Peace Prize for creating the United Nations Peacekeeping Force. Stop number 18 it's the Peace Tower, Canada's Tower of Victory and Peace. 
once again, stop number 18 is the Peace Tower of the center block of Parliament. The Peace Tower replaced the original Victoria Tower that burned down in 1960. If you look at an old $20 bill, then you will see the Peace Tower. Stop number 19. The Eternal Flame, also known as the Centennial Flame. Welcome to the Eternal Flame. The flame was first lit on January the 1st, 1967, to celebrate Canada's 100th birthday. The flame is fueled by natural gas. One last look at Parliament and the eternal flame. And our last stop is the Queen's Gates. The Queen's Gates are part of Wellington Ball beside Wellington Street. And that concludes our tour on Parliament Hill. I hope you enjoyed it. O's for Ottawa. T is for terrific tour. tour. Terrific tour. A. Wow, awesome. We oh. stand on guard for the O Ottawa. Terrific tour. And Wow, amazing.